Hey guys, my name is Ralph Carter. Today I'm going to show you how to configure a route map to manipulate AS Pass prepending uh, for any outbound updates. So, what I have here uh, is an ACI fabric. Uh, before that, I want to show you what my uh, Palo Alto, which is basically peering with the ACI fabric uh, over a layer three out, what the routing uh, looks like. So, if I just basically go and show you um, everything for the slash. Or actually, for the 172, 30, 69, 32 slash 27 network, you're going to see here that I am receiving um, routes from each of the leaf switches, and the AS path prepend is basically uh, 65,001, which is the ACI fabric, and then followed by the AS path that I am um, configuring on the uh, layer three out. And what I want to do here on this advertisement out to the Palo Alto, and again, it doesn't have to be a Palo Alto, it could be anything, uh, but in this particular case, I'm going to advertise um, with, um, uh, with uh, an AS path prepend. So I'm going to actually prepend the AS path. Uh, in this case, I'll do it two times, but you could do it three times, you could do it multiple times. So I'm going to kind of show you how to do this in, in uh, ACI, what needs to be configured. Okay, so let me go quickly to uh, the ACI fabric here. And the bridge domain that we're going to be working with is Dev Avengers BD. So you're going to notice here that the default gateway is already set on that bridge domain. It's 172.30.69.33.27. Okay. And if I click on this Avengers bridge domain, uh, you're also going to see that uh, I am already bound to the DC2 US Corp Dev firewall. Uh, layer 3 out, which is also defined here. So I have the layer 3 out. That's what's basically um, allowing the Palo Alto to learn about these routes. And what I'm going to do is now I want to manipulate these routes because I want the AS path prepended multiple times because the, the uh, firewall is peering with the core switch and I want that core switch to make uh, other decisions as to where uh, it needs what data center or firewall it should actually come into for that particular network, which this particular network. So let's let's get started with that. So it's very very uh, simple. The first thing we need to do here is under the external routed networks, we have to create our set rules. So what I'm going to do here, I'm just going to call it um, AS Path <clears throat> Prepend X2, and in the create uh, set rules for a route map, I'm going to go under set AS path. I'm going to click that. I'm going to hit next. And then what I need to do here is I'm going to do the prepend AS option. So I'm going to hit the plus here. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to add the 65221. I'm going to start with an order of zero. I'm going to hit update here. Then I'm going to type in 65221 again. But now the order is going to start at number five. Okay. And if I want to prepend it three times, I would actually uh, basically do it this way. I would do 65, whoops, 65221, and I would type the order of 10. But I'm not going to do that here. I'm just going to keep it prepended twice for simplicity. And I'm going to hit OK, finish. So now I basically set my rules, and I need to now create my route map. Now, I could also do match rules. But because I'm going to ta target everything on the bridge domain, I really don't need match rules. So I'm going to go under my dev layer 3 out where I have the route map profile. And I'm not going to configure it in this route map under the, the external route network. So I'm going to do it actually under the layer 3 out. So you go here. I'm going to do match routing policy. Uh, let's call this uh, dev oops, export route map and now I have to create a context so let's do zero and let's call this Avengers underscore AS path x2 something along that line now the match rule here if I wanted to get specific and, and, and say specific um, prefixes uh, but again I'm going to be targeting the actual bridge domain so I'm going to just do the set rule here and I'm going to say um, setting the rule, which is the AS path prepend X2, which is what we just created. Okay, so I'm going to say um, in this route map, anything that is matched, pretty much um, set it with a prepend of, uh, of, of, of two. 
right? So meaning prepend the 65221 twice. I'm going to hit OK. Then I'm going to hit Submit. Now, in order for this to actually work or be applied, it has to be applied at the bridge domain level, right? So what we're going to do is we're going to go back into this Dev Avengers bridge domain. And before I even apply that, I'm going to show you what the actual Palo Alto looks like here. I'm just going to refresh it. to make sure see here so I still have the the existing AS path um, in that route advertisement so I'm gonna close that I'm gonna go in here and I'm gonna apply it to the actual bridge domain so again I'm gonna go onto the bridge domain and if you're wondering why there's like a, a black cloud on all these is because I pushed this through the multi-site orchestrator this is a, a, a multi-site setup and hence why I want to manipulate uh, pa uh, routing uh, using AS path because it's a dual data center design. So I'm going to go to the layer three configurations here. Um, and again, the layer three out is associated. So what I need to do is I'm going to need to specify an L3 out for route profile. So I'm going to come in here and I'm going to click the uh, layer three out where the route map profile was defined. Okay, which is under the dev layer three out. And then under there, what context? So if you remember, we created a dev underscore export uh, route map. Okay, so this is basically um, the route map that's going to get applied to uh, this bridge domain's uh, advertisements. I'm going to hit submit here. And soon, I'm going to go back to the Palo Alto. Let me refresh it. BGP. Didn't take yet. Give it a minute. Let me check that route map again real quick. Oh, actually, I have to set the match prefix and routing policy now that I remember. Okay, so um, match prefix and routing policy needs to be enabled. Let me hit submit here. That is setting prepend. Let me go back to the firewall, refresh, and there you go. So. You see here now that it's um, the slash 32 that's being advertised from the ACF average to the firewall. Now you see that it's prepended uh, a couple times. Okay. Awesome. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed this uh, quick tech snip. And uh, if you want to see more, just subscribe to my channel. Take care.